So here we have a Paul's Dillinger bike. Um, this is a bit of a suspension piece here. Uh, I've said it'll piston. Um, so obviously it moves in and about, in and out a little bit when the bike's a bit crunched up. Um, it's got a secondary chain which basically drives drives the motor and the battery packs here. It's lockable so it can't be stolen. Um, you can actually charge it on the bike, if I can remember where the outlet is, it is there somewhere, there it is, you, you plug it in there, it's hiding under the handle. Uh, to take the battery off you've got to take the seat off, bike folds in half, I just flip that out and then it will simply fold right round. And the other half's there. So the bike's basically half the size. The handlebars are the same. They've got a quick release. That folds down. Um, this one here will actually allow the handlebars to go right down. So you can see it folds down pretty small. Um, the lights are built in. It's got one on the front. Be aware, on the back, it only has a reflector. Um, so something you need to be aware of uh, for some countries you will need to put a second light on there if you're around at night uh, it's also worth having one on the back because if you're going to get run over it's going to be somebody running into the back of you at night that doesn't see you now it's an electric bike and you can see there's some lights here nothing on because you have to put the ignition on Flip of the switch, you can see I've got three lights on here, it's green which tells me it's fully charged. Now for Spain I'm going to have to remove this, this is a throttle, and as you can see the bike can run purely off the throttle, it, it, you, that's, that's currently not legal in Spain. <laughs> Uh, you've got a little horn over here, which is quite loud. Uh, you press the red button, that's your lights. And pretty much that's it. If you don't use this, the driver assist is already switched on. Um, so, but let's start pedaling. You'll hear the engine cut in, well, the motor. Hear it? That's how it's supposed to run, just on that. It's not supposed to have a throttle control so I've got to take the throttle off so you should be able to just pedal then the motor assists you as you go now the bike itself is fine for what we need um, what's the downside it's extremely heavy um, switch the light off it's extremely heavy compared to other bikes I've used. I think the frame must be solid steel, which is so we come in. Um which means the bike is extremely heavy. Um and obviously the battery is quite a large battery which adds a lot of weight as well. So for for me the downside is the weight but price wise this was about half the price compared to the next electric bike. Um, I'll put the stats relating to how far you can go and everything else in the link at the bottom. Um, I know some people want to ask, and I'll do a bit of a road test later on. Thanks for watching. Okay, so we brought the Dillinger out. As you can see, for my body frame, it's quite a small bike, but we'll get it out on the road and test it. Also, it lets you know if you are a bit bigger like yourself, is the bike suitable okay so off we go I say I've got the driver assist on so
they get a run around the neighborhood. Don't mind getting up a, up a hill at a reasonable rate. I'm at full throttle now. But this bike isn't exactly built for racing around along. I think it does about 15 to 25 kilometers an hour. So, but as you can see, I mean, I'm probably two and a half times the weight of April. And it's trying to get me up the hills, no problem whatsoever. a little bit there. Bear in mind I'm not pedalling. I am now. Just to give it a bit of extra oomph around the corner there. It's running fine. The bike feels a bit light for me, but obviously for me, it feels a bit like riding a circus bike. <laughs> it's, it's a bit small for me. Um, but speed-wise, it's trundling along at a reasonable rate. It's not exactly whistling at high speed, but it is actually getting from A to B without too much hassle. took my hand off the throttle as you can see it's still three wheels like a normal bike does it doesn't lock your brakes up or anything put my hand on the brakes just turn around make sure we got clear on and off we go again yeah I'd be happy with one of these it, for example because we like camping and that sort of stuff, this is alright for getting around the campsite. I'm not sure if it's going to be strong enough to put the trailer on the back with the kids. There's quite a big hill nearby that this is going to get up to for a school run. But it's alright for April for the shops. That's about 25 kilometers, 25, 35 kilometers before it runs out of battery power. for 350 quid. I can't grumble. Also useful for like now because it's really busy in La Mata with the holiday season. I've got nowhere to park. I'm about three kilometers away, so I can actually just hop on the bike and go and pick the, the car up. So obviously, there's a space here now. Pedestrian crash 